Today I will make this bell shaped part as you can see here. You can use this perpendicular view from here or choosing it from down here. Alright, select a sketch and draw a circle. Now by using 3D sketch, I'm going to make a central line which will be used to make another plane which will contain the second circle which will be the top of my main body. Alright, this is the plane that I set. I want it to be perpendicular to this line. And here is the second circle. Okay, now I'm going to make a guideline which will be perpendicular to both circles. You can also use formula to generate this curve. That will be our guideline. Okay, here's the problem. If you use the loft option and you choose this curve to be your guideline, the generated body will not be symmetric and round. There are many solutions to this problem. You can use symmetric line, you can use center line, you can you can uh, uh, you can make a sketch and rotate it around some center line. But I'm not going to do that today. I'm I would like to introduce swept cut option meaning that I will make another sketch and rotate that around the center line so that the intersecting parts will be deleted and the remaining object will be our intended part this middle circle is going to be the guideline for the swept cut Alright, the part is created, but let's let's try something new. Let's see what happens if the top face in the lofted option is a polygonal, while the bottom face is a still a circle. Let's try that. So as you can see, this polygonal is changing smoothly into a circle. Now I will import a background picture and render our part. In order to do that, go to add-ins and double click on this. 
I'm, I'm going to choose preview. And this is the part that we wanted to make. Thank you for watching.